I want to show you what might be one of the fastest ways to actually sit down with a book and learn calculus and you don't even need any trigonometry. You can just jump into it with basic algebra skills and be awesome. And yes, this is a book, but this is not a textbook. This reminds me of a very specialized book which I have, which is for something else. There's, there's this mathematics test that math majors take called the Math GRE, and they sell these workbooks on Amazon that people buy for that test. And those books basically go over tons of mathematics and they just have examples and the examples are good. This is a book like that, except it's just for calculus. This book is incredible. It's called Forgotten Calculus. And it says a refresher course with applications to economics and business. So it's kind of like a refresher course for business calculus students, but at the same time, that makes it in my opinion, a fantastic choice for people who want to learn calculus. I've talked about business calculus books in the past, business calculus textbooks, and how they're excellent for learning because they're not as rigorous as regular calculus books. This is like a workbook for business calc students in some sense. I mean, here you see it's talking about uh, the total cost. So let's take a look at this book and let me show you why it's so great and why you can learn so fast uh, with this book. So here's the contents and you see it doesn't have everything but it certainly has a lot of material and it starts with like the really basic stuff. So functions, linear functions, quadratic functions and then only in chapter 9 it starts with the derivative. Now nothing is proven here. This is not like a textbook. There's nothing rigorous here. It's just a problem book with examples that show you how to solve calculus problems and let's be honest if you are going to go to college and you're going to take a calculus class, you're going to have a test, you're going to have homework, and on the test and in the homework, you're solving calculus problems. That's what you need to get good at in order to get a good grade and in order to learn calculus, right? You learn math by doing math, and this is a book that helps you learn how to do mathematics. So here you see all the topics. So it's got a lot of topics from Calc 1, um, and it even has a Calc 3 topic here, functions of several variables. So let's just look at the format so you can see why it's so awesome. So it actually teaches you stuff. So just because it's called forgotten calculus doesn't mean that you actually have to know calculus. So it starts with functions and it has like a cool picture. And you see here how it really explains everything in detail. I love books that do this. It's like they're taking like an extra effort to explain everything. I mean, this takes a lot of work to write a book like this. And I have a lot of respect for books that really take the extra effort to to do stuff like this. That's pretty cool. And then what happens is you learn some stuff, you read, and then right away it jumps to examples. Look at all of these examples you have here, right? So you have lots of examples and you have the solution right below it. So you work through all these examples, right? Tons of examples. Let's turn the page. More examples, then more examples, and it's just like little subsections, right? It's just examples and examples and examples. Once you get done you know, with all of these examples, which is ridiculous, I mean, that's so much practice, then you have exercises and you have tons of exercises. And when you look in the back of the book, of course you have answers to every single exercise. So basically you can work through this book in any fashion you want. You can just basically open up a random section and read uh, you know, a little bit of knowledge and then just get right to it and start doing problems, actually start doing mathematics. And honestly, that's the fastest way to get good at math. It's to do math. You know, I love reading math textbooks. I think it's great, but if you are just in a hurry and you're trying to learn calculus or refresh your skills, this is a great book. Here's a, here's a good example of a U substitution problem. So this is something uh, that you would see in a Calc 1 course. So they set u equal to x squared plus 5. They take the derivative. Now, they do it a little bit differently. They, they use a regular derivative notation, du dx. Whereas in a Calc 1 course, you would skip this step and go straight here. This is called differential notation. But I kind of like that they show this because it shows how these are kind of equivalent. If you could multiply by dx, you, you basically would get this. And these are equivalent statements. And then they go through here and they solve for dx, which is, which is not my preferred way of doing it. I think there's better ways of doing it. And they go through and they show the work that way. So not how I would do it, but it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. 
integration using formulas, you'll notice none of the formulas seem to have trig functions. So yeah, it's a pretty good book. It's not perfect, but the fact that it's laid out in this way and has you know tons of examples and then it has all of these solved problems make it perfect for someone who is just ready to get back into it uh, and start doing mathematics right away. Another thing I don't like about this book, and this is just me nitpicking here, is the way they do the product and quotient rule. A lot of textbooks do it this way. Um, I explain it slightly differently. So like I would have the S prime before the F, little stuff like that and like how they make the substitutions. So it's not a perfect book, but it's a good one and I recommend it. What I'll try to do is I'll try to find this book. I don't know if it's still in print and I'll leave a link in the description of this video. By the way, thank you to the person who mentioned this book to me. So I discovered this book long ago. It's been over a year. Someone left a comment and they kept leaving the comment. They kept saying, hey, have you heard of Forgotten Calculus? Check it out, check it out. And thank you to that person. Uh, I have heard of it. I just haven't made a video on this book ever until now. Um, but yeah, it's a very good book. Not perfect, but perfect for someone who wants to learn math fast. Also, if you're in a business calculus class, you see here all this business type calculus you see um, is, is pretty cool. I, I've taught business calculus in the past and honestly, business calculus, it's probably my favorite or one of my favorite classes to teach in college because it's so fun because in business calculus classes, you can kind of just take your time and really spend a lot of time on the math and do extra examples. I feel like the pace is slower in a business calc class than a regular calc class. So you can do more examples and you can take your time. And it's kind of fun teaching calculus to people who have never had trig. It's like you go from algebra to calculus and that's what you can do with this book, right? You can basically skip trigonometry if you want to and jump into calculus and start learning calculus right now. And you might say, well, you can't really learn calculus without trig, you miss a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it's better than nothing, right? I always compare it to uh, vacuuming. I hate cleaning it. Whenever I vacuum the house, uh, you know, instead of doing a perfect job, I always say it's better than nothing, right? So when you do a couple problems from this book, you know, you might not become an expert because you won't know all the trig stuff, but you know what? It's better than nothing. And you can learn basic things like the quotient rule, the product rule, integration by substitution, what a derivative is, how to integrate, optimization problems. Ah, uh, nice, nice. These are some that you see in Calc 1 here. And they have some that have applications to business as well because it is a book with applications to economics and business. So great book, I recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description in case you wanna check it out. Perfect to refresh your skills, get extra practice problems as a supplement to any course, um, Forgotten Calculus. Also, if you do want to learn mathematics with a course, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform. But if you decide to buy one of my courses, please, please use my website links as it helps me greatly. And I've lowered the prices on all my courses to make them as low as possible. So if you use my links, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a super low price. But yeah, uh, awesome book. I just wanted to show you because I think this is one of the fastest ways to learn. And I say that because I, I remember my experience uh, with books like this, like the book for the math GRE. It's a book just like this and it's got all types of math and it's got some cheesy title and like you think it's not a good book, but it is because it actually has examples and it actually shows you how to do math and you learn math by doing math. And these books, they just get right to the point. And sometimes you need that, right? Because there's plenty of great textbooks out there and this is not a substitute for a textbook, right? I still, I still think it's really good to get like, you know, an actual calculus textbook. Certainly not a substitute, but it's a good supplement and you can learn with just this. It's, it's pretty incredible. Anyways, keep doing mathematics. Oh, oh, before I forget, I do have another YouTube channel where I talk about fitness and I do product reviews and random stuff. And of course it's called The Fitness Sorcerer. So subscribe there if you want to see ridiculous, silly uh, fitness content that I post. I, I don't know if it's ridiculous or silly, but it's just random fitness content. So if you're into fitness, check out The Fitness Sorcerer. And if you're not a subscriber here and you found any value in this content, consider hitting subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. If you should take away anything from this video is that these books, these, these workbooks, you know, Forgotten Calculus, you know, what a, what a clickbaity name, right? Like it's actually a really good book and you can actually learn a lot of serious mathematics from a book like this. Keep doing math.